Let's travel with me to Cannes. You have to tell those stupid stories. I find it a bit rude, but the police is against us. take anything oh my god <laughs> this is really heavy <laughs> mm, i'm gonna check if we can get rid of something i literally took nothing maybe that's the camera it's heavy i don't know we'll see i don't even know if i need a camera or not because like i plan to film on, on my phone but then i thought you know it can be actually really nice to film with my camera because it's just much easier to film yourself myself <laughs> so yeah i don't know how i'm gonna take it and we'll see because i've been having some guys we've got a ghost here the reason why i'm not filming on my camera right now is because i've been having some problems with my microphone i don't know it just came out of nowhere so i'm still gonna try and fix it and we'll see how it's gonna work off we go to the road on the road off we go on the road <laughs> i am not an expert with vlogs but i really really want to try and do it so let's do it <laughs> let's do it let's travel with me to Cannes. my train was an hour late and i spent almost this whole hour just trying to find a place where i could sit so i could work with my laptop and i finally managed to do it i didn't film anything in the train because everybody was just so sleepy because it was really really early in the morning and i didn't sit next to the window but here we are hey guys so i arrived at the at Antibes which is really close to Cannes and I didn't get to film yesterday because there were just so so many people in the train hold on I'm gonna put you right here yeah no people I, I think I've never seen that many people in my whole life I mean in the railway station so and also I didn't have a good view because I was sitting not next to a window and like there were just really a lot of people and there were zero free places anyway i think everybody is coming to con for the festival to have fun which is not really my case i don't know if i've told you or not i was pretty ashamed of telling this to to other people because i actually fucked up my own application look at the face of the person who fucked up the only chance she had in a year to go to a festival and i had all the chances so the thing is i was waiting for my agency to send me a document and i think you can have a, a cinema lover ticket even if you're not an actress or a director truly anybody who loves cinema can have a free ticket or even like free tickets but i sent an implication as an actress because you know i'm i have an agent i'm in uh, two agencies have some experience and normally that would be enough but i needed like a special document from my agency and i really didn't want to wait anymore because they were just no answer in me so I was like whatever i'm just gonna send my application anyway and i decided to add like a doc another document from my agency like just saying that i'm with them not a special one um it didn't work <laughs> i got a refusal in a few days and at the same day i got the refusal i also got the freaking paper i've been waiting for look at me here i am <laughs> anyway i'm really to be honest i'm super ashamed uh, of telling this to people but i was like you know sometimes you have to tell those stupid stories yes i fucked up i fucked up my application so the the, the moral of this story is do not rush things <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. When I'm like wearing this uh, pink stuff, I just feel so bitchy. <laughs> this is not me at all. Like I'm a nice person. Anyway, today 
is the first day of Cannes Film Festival, but since I'm not invited... <laughs> oh my god, since I'm not invited, I don't know what are we gonna do. But I think I'm just gonna hang out with my mom at the beach. I'm gonna work because I still have work to do. You know, send some emails and stuff. And we'll see. I hope you enjoy this little vlog. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Bye bye. Um, well, we'll see each other very soon. <laughs> I arrived early in the morning, but sadly, I still had some work to do. So this is my work from home office for today. Shortly after I finished work, we headed to this Costa Rican bar by the beach. <gasps> I still desperately try to continue working. Hey guys, so we just came to this place. I'm gonna show you the pictures. It was very nice. I mean, the staff was as always, but at least they tried to be friendly, so... Okay, I, I'm not gonna say anything bad about this place. Let's say it was nice, it's Instagrammable, the cocktails are sweet, and that's all that I can say. Today is like a very chill day, nothing very interesting to show. Actually, today I think I'm gonna dye my hair for the first time, like with a real hair dye. Um, a girl is gonna come, like a hairstylist that my mom... Um, knows somehow i'm gonna film everything what can i say i mean the 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 guy <laughs> the guy at the restaurant was a bit rude because he was like oh two cocktails and, and a tapas that's all that's all you're gonna take really that's it are you sure are you gonna order something more maybe maybe after right you know it's like i find it a bit rude but we'll see otherwise everybody else is very friendly I recommend if you want to have some chill time and I was actually working on my computer at the time so anyway see you in a bit so then we went home and it was finally the time to dye my hair <laughs> not gonna lie I was slightly afraid but the hairstylist was so confident I felt like I was in good hands I think it took around five hours to do it but here I am happy with the results I mean, just look at this, guys. This is so pretty. When we finished dyeing our hair, my mom included, both terribly exhausted, we went on a little stroll by the sea. To be honest, the next day we didn't do much. I spent the first part of the day just working and then we went to do some shopping. <laughs> the first time I see something like this and it's like really scary. And we finished the day by taking another walk by the sea. Just taking a little walk here. The quality is probably really bad. But it was like a very chill day. We just did some shopping and stuff and went on a little walk and it's raining. So it's really not, not too much to show. I hope that tomorrow is going to be much more interesting. That's kind of it. I'm definitely going to show you what I bought and damn, I did not plan to buy all this stuff. It was quite impulsive, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. I think I have um, a little problem with like buying stuff uh, because I often want to buy something but I spend so much time thinking if I need this, do I need this? should I buy this or is it expensive or not expensive so I just bought a bunch of stuff that I know that I'm gonna wear and yeah try to you know let it go and actually lately I've been trying to really just 
try to follow this little impulse without anything extreme or special and see how it goes because I really had problems <laughs> buying things and I know it's better than just buying everything and I do have a lot of stuff at my place and a lot of clothes but this mental block that I have I think oh well, it's so expensive I should not uh, buy this because I'm not gonna wear this and stuff like this does anybody feel the same ever because I know people who have problems and they buy too much they buy so many clothes and stuff but I don't know a lot of people who can buy anything like me so yeah see you later <laughs> I have to go because I just kind of left everybody the next day was the big day. It was the day of the event, where me and my mom were invited. Or to be more precise, but tickets do. I pulled out my best dress, did my makeup and hair, and was ready to go. Though I did feel slightly nervous, being not a party animal at all, the evening seemed intriguing. And also since I was with my mom, it was less scary. <laughs> The event took place at this beautiful, huge villa in the upper side of Khan. It was a charity event as well to support Ukraine. We arrived right in time, but the later it got, the more interesting it became. I managed to meet some nice people, some directors, producers, actors, all kinds of creative people, artists, really whoever you could think of. There were a lot of famous people as well. Maybe sometimes it was a bit poshy, is this the word even? And pretentious. Or you know, people like to talk and show how much money and power they have. But despite that, actually, it was very nice. And there were some very lovely people as well. Also, very short, funny story. So the whole evening, everybody was waiting for this famous Ukrainian singer. And at some point, I went to the bathroom, which was in the villa. And when I was coming out of the bathroom, I found myself face to face with this singer that everybody has been waiting for. Even though I'm not his fan, I panicked a little, out of surprise. And I just stood there and smiled at him. And it was very awkward, but not in a bad way. <laughs> It was just not made for hills and I was not made for hills as well. So <laughs> <laughs> so we're just walking like this and the problem is the the road is oh like very God. rocky and it's even more painful but I was just afraid that I'm gonna fall down so yeah I do nothing bad my mom is very drunk and yeah I didn't get drunk that much it's don't work where is my car? Oh my god. Like they should have they should have thought they should have oh my god am I drunk already as well? I mean this is just how it looks like. Yeah, that's just the other girls who have hills as well. And I'm telling you it's it's very painful. It's very painful. Oh, you can walk on the white thing. It's gonna be less painful. The girl is screaming that she's falling. <laughs> she's falling. I, I totally understand her. But like, I don't have any... We're not that... I don't know the word in English. Yeah. Anyway, it was quite fun. Oh, oh, the police is against. Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to show you, but yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. It was nice. It was actually not bad. I thought it's gonna be way worse. Yeah. See you probably tomorrow at 6 a.m. in the train. Bye bye.
Well, that's it guys. Thank you a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little journey. And if you did, please support me with a little like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. We're gonna see each other very very soon. And please write in the comments if you liked something or if you want to see something more or more videos like this. I would appreciate that a lot. And I wish you all a very nice day, night or whatever it is. Anyway, bye bye!